the root of existence must be there. Okay. Yeah, it's like that. You follow? So nothing can exclude Baba, you see. That infinite existence is such. And hell and heaven are just the states. Yeah. Our own states. We are our own Satan and Lucifer. As this morning I was telling you. You remember that? What was I telling you about? About what we heard from a sage. Oh. Well, it says, you, are, you have heard from the, in the Bible, the scriptures say that the, there are fallen angels. He said, yes. Yeah. He says, you know who the fallen angels are? He says, well, Lucifer, we know one name. He says, yeah. Then any other? So, you know, we don't know any other name. But he says, you know, the, all the fallen angels are here on the earth planet, you know. All that uh, whole humanity is nothing but the fallen angels. He says, oh. he says, and then there are the angels that are still suspended there. You see. And we are the fallen angels, he said. But one thing, his great compassion, infinite compassion, made him so a seed in the fallen angels, seed of his love. And therefore we are capable of loving our Creator. Whereas the angels are not capable of doing that. Yeah. And that's why they envy us. Yeah. So we are ourselves the fallen angels, we are the Lucifers. Yeah. We are striving. Just as Baba, somebody asked Baba, what's your business? He says, well, my business is to... What, what did he say? To convert all the uh, liabilities into assets. Yeah. You don't know, you people had asked him one day in New Year, somewhere in press conference, he says, well, uh, what's your business? He says, my business is to convert all the liabilities into assets. <laughs> <laughs> the sinners into sins. <laughs> yeah. Anybody's business is to convert liabilities into assets. Mine is also the same thing. But my business is different. <laughs> Er, surrender and effacement are the same? Well, yes, they are synonymous, no doubt about it. But without, uh, without surrender there is no effacement, you see. Mm. One has to surrender to the Lord. Mm. But then that surrender also, the effacement, is there is a thin margin which may, be, may differentiate between surrender and effacement. And that is, even if you surrender, people like us are not effaced. We feel that we have surrendered, we know that we have surrendered and all that. But then the effacement takes a, it's a longer process. Surrender is there. Once and for all you surrender. But that doesn't mean that the moment you surrender you are effaced. Effacement, the process of effacement begins after you are determined to be His. Mm. And that's His gift? No, it's our effort. His gift is of love. His grace, you may call it, yeah. His grace, gradually, His grace de descends upon us. We are able to draw upon His grace. There's no question of descending or ascending grace, because grace is all permeating. It pervades everything, permeates and pervades everything. It depends upon us to draw upon His grace. Hmm. That's by effort. By our effort. Yeah. Gabriella, tell us one very good Baba story and then we go for lunch. What's the time now? It's fifteen minutes. <laughs> Come on. Something that you have come across. Now so many years have passed by, you were here, and uh, something must have come across. Hmm? Nothing what, comes to mind. What happened to your mind? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I think it's still there, but I wish I had <laughs> you know, when I ask her, she will say that, ask Gabriella, because she has, she has given her key to you. 
She has retired, she says. Okay. <laughs> Does she ever scold you? Scold me? Hmm? I don't know, but I scold you. <laughs> <laughs> what generation is this now? <laughs> yeah. She's my grandmother. <laughs> That's why you told that. Yeah. <laughs> At the time of Jesus, there was a generation of wipers. That's what he used the word. And what are, what is this generation now? Generation of this vultures. is the third generation. <laughs> <laughs> there she says, Baba's angels. Generation of Baba's angels. Mm. <laughs> sweet, sweet in our mouth. Mm. May it be so. Mm. Actually, I said fallen angels, but when you said Baba's oh. angels, I thought, ah, that mm. sounds a lot better. <laughs> I'll go for that one. <laughs> you know, that is the bane of hard of hearing. Mm. You know. It may have paid off. There. It's the license. It's the license. Oh, I yes. See. That's and Rick said vultures. Yes. <laughs> so these are Baba's angels coming to pick the last part of the ego away. That's yeah. good. But he's giving me a dig. Mm. You see, what happened was that they came at about 9 o'clock this morning. And Rano came inside my cabin and says, Oh, early birds. I said, No, they're not early birds. They're early vultures. Uh. <laughs> so he's trying to give me a dig now. Uh. <laughs> hmm. For the first time I see James, without looking at his watch, sitting quietly, peacefully. This peace that reigns supreme in this room <laughs> is because of this, it's being generated from it. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time I'm seeing him like this. Eric says because of the clock I can see this by looking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even here you let us down, you know. <laughs> It's but good. I don't have any, nothing to do. The telephone line is above there. That's now. very good. That's very <laughs> good. <laughs> Even the telexes are not working. Nothing is working. There's no telex in Amanagar. The yeah. telephone lines are down. No choice. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You deserve that. Uh -huh. Deserve that rest. Just as Merwan deserved that rest. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that was some rest. Yeah. <laughs> How, How is Merwan? Huh? How is Merwan? Better. Better? Yeah. Better. How about me? How about you? Just as yeah. rest had to be taken. Well, we are change. taking rest. Yes, change. Yeah. Change is rest. But they don't even have change. When they come for change, they are all always on a steed, you know. Or even a helicopter, you may call it. Come here, go there, go there. Actually, that jolts favorite wish is that one day he should come by helicopter from Bombay and land in Maribad and go for Darshan and go back to Bombay. <laughs> <laughs> what a wish. <laughs> Eric, the mm -hmm. Denver group wanted me to ask about Baba Forbids. Baba Forbids drugs, birth control, um, worry, <laughs> what does Baba forbid and what does not Baba forbid? Or does Baba forbid anything? Baba forbids everything and nothing. <laughs> he forbids your being dick. Whatever is there in dick, he forbids. And he forbids nothing. He allows you to be dick. And he loves you. And he embraces you. And he calls you again and again and all that. Hmm. It is left to you. If you want to remain dick, well, who can stop you? You are dick. <laughs> Not even I can stop you. You can't, so you far can't, yeah. But if you don't want to be dick, well, that's also, nobody will stop you from not being dick. You are stopping yourself, yeah. Nobody else can stop you from being, not being dick. Mm. What's Dick? Dick? What does it mean? Anthony? Mm, Richard. Richard. Mm. Oh. Or Frederick. Or Frederick. Oh. Why do you look at him? 
He's Frederick. He's Frederick. So he's known as Rick. How I see. You're Frederick. Frederick Chapman. Mm. <laughs> But being rich is good. We'd love you to be rich instead of being friendly. Thank you. <laughs> what do That's you good. say, Cheryl? Rick. Rick is. Since the baby, he's been Rick because his dad was Frederick. So his dad was nicknamed Fred, and immediately he was Rick. So he never had a chance. They didn't to want a junior, you see. Hmm. Generally, when son is named after the father, like if Eric's father was named Eric, then instead of shouting out Eric and wondering who is to come, they would call one Junior and often they even come to be known as Junior. Junior, yeah. We have come across many. Uh, sometimes it is You're keeping two or your name three. Now, Rick. You realize that. Junior. Johnson, Can't Johnson, be. two. <laughs> Johnson, Johnson, three. We get mm. in Roman, yeah. Or Eric Erickson. Mm. So. But we would like you to be Rick, Mr. Frederick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's easy. May I know who you are? <laughs> Judy. Judy? Yes. Who Judy who? Judy Judy Oh. You came when, when did you come here? With Paul on Monday. On Monday? Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> Good. Your first visit? Yes. Paul told you about Baba? Yes. What did he tell you? Did he complain much about Baba? <laughs> no, he just gave me some books to read. Did he not tell you anything? Um, a little bit. After I was reading, I asked him some questions. We're going to go to seven years. Pardon? We're going to go to seven or eight years. What did he say? He said they've been together. For seven, eight years. Mm. But you didn't tell her before? I kept it a secret. I thought I would. Oh, I see. <laughs> How about your years now? Better. Better? Not as bad as before. Mm. Once he took the drumsticks out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to take a picture of you, but I don't want the flash to catch it by surprise. Is that right? Well, then uh, it will be an artificial picture. Oh. If there's a surprise there, then it will be a proper picture. <laughs> It's all that you can take it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why Mani wished Judy and I was wondering who that Judy is. Mani wished you, no, when she came in? So he told you about Baba how many years ago? Four years ago. It's good that you came this time. You, why did you not come early for the Amartiti? Um, you tried. Yeah. Hmm. No, mind. It doesn't matter. It's next time. A lot of time. You all are young now. The world is not going to end so soon. Not this afternoon, Eric? No. I will be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> well, what can... If one is disappointed, that doesn't mean that the world should come to an end for the sake of one person. Yeah. One person can have its own end, his own end. With him, the world dies. Yeah. And Lynn, when did you come? You said four months ago. Four weeks ago. <laughs> four or five weeks. Just before I'm receiving. Any new dreams you have come across? No new dreams. No new dreams. I dreamt of you, Eric, before hmm. coming here. I had a dream of you. What you were 
arguing in this very hall with the man. With which man? He said, this is a man. Mm. He said, why do we come in here and bow down to this chair? Mm. Isn't this an idol? Mm. He went on a long time. Finally, you said to him, in my dream, you said, it's not the chair that we bow down to. It's the emptiness in the chair that we bow down to. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Good way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> the emptiness. That is not bowing down at all. If you bow down to an emptiness, then it's not bowing down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, this emptiness and all that, that reminds me again of Anne, who had come over here. Anne Richards? No, Anne Burgoyne. Yeah, she, she thought it's an empty chair. And why should I bow down? Hmm. You know that story? So Alaba mm. wouldn't be disappointed. Hmm? So Alaba wouldn't yeah. be disappointed. Her world came to an end. Yeah. Her world came to an end when she bowed down. <laughs> that was the end of Anne Burgoyne. She died? Yeah. As Anne Burgoyne, she died. Mm. And she began to live as Nair Baba's disciple. Lover, liker, follower, mandli, whatever you call it. Yeah. It's a peculiar thing, and now there's so many, uh, what do you call, uh, designations are there. Mm -hmm. What are you, a lover or a liker or a follower or a disciple? What? As you wish. Oh. What are you, a lover or a liker? You're not sure. Then what are you, are you sure of anything? No. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> She's not sure of anything. You're sure of your having come here? <coughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> there are many who come here, but they are not here. Hmm. That's why Baba would always tell us. It means not us who were living here, we had taken it for granted. We even forgot that we are here. So people would come, visitors, and visitors means those who were close to him and all that. So they would come here, and they have come here. So Baba would tell them, uh, how long are you going to stay? Ask them questions. Well, three or four days, or as many days as you would permit. And then it says, be here. He says, yes, Baba, I'll be here. So next day when you'll come, be here. Eh? He says, yes, Baba, I'm here. So then Baba one day told us that there are many who come over here and although they are here but they are not, not here, not with me. Their minds go out, business, here, this, that and so forth. At least one good thing in Gabriella, she knows that she is here. <laughs> Judy, any other questions you are for Baba. Oh, by the way, you please go for your lunch. You go. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, Alaba will get very wild now. What's the time now? 1.30. Yeah. It's, it's time for your lunch. No? Have you brought your lunch, Paul? What? <coughs> huh? uh, really, I'm not joking. No, you. I know. I know. That's a good method, too. Yeah. You had your lunch? What? I had a big breakfast, I'm not hungry. How big was the breakfast? Scrambled eggs, cornflakes, tea, banana, toast. <laughs> <laughs> jam? No jam. No jam. Cheese? No jam. Oh, yeah. Is that known as massage in situ? <laughs> <laughs> what is situ? Shall I sit to? Ah, sit to. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> You know, Don, hmm? when you came this morning in the mm -hmm. beginning, the, from a distance, I said, oh, Marvin Kempen has come. Marvin Kempen, well, well. Mm -hmm. Where is he, by the way? And Still then I said, I asked somebody, I said, is Marvin here? Mm -hmm. Because I have just come. I didn't know who are here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he said, no, that's Don Stevens. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. is he all right, Marvin? 
Well, he was, but his wife, Jeannie, had a very, very bad time, and I've been trying to get in touch with him recently just to be sure that she's still all right. She had a, um, uh, uh, what they call an aneurysm yeah. of an artery yeah. at the base yeah. of her neck, mm. and uh, it exploded, and she you know, suddenly fell down in the garden and was taken to the hospital, mm. put in intensive care. They operated on that particular artery. And um, then she gradually recovered. I talked to her once or twice by phone while she was still in the hospital. And saw Marvin in Houston uh, while she was still in the hospital. Saw Dr. Chamberlain too, remember Alan Chamberlain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was just about a year ago. And then I wrote to them at Christmas time. That was a year and a half ago. I wrote to them at Christmas time and I had no word back. Um, so now I'm trying to reach him uh, by phone. Mayor, he was also what wondering what has happened to Marvin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he had uh, a kidney removed about six, eight years ago, and there has been no recurrence or no further problems from that. So, but when I didn't have a Christmas card, I'm a little worried. Same thing with Merji. He was asking me, and then I saw you this morning. Yeah. I saw Marvin this morning. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Is this your lunch? Yeah. I see. Mm. Fine, this is lunch. He's good. Yeah. See, I used to play football. I see. Yeah. 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 Oh, Irish, I must tell you a tiny, tiny little yeah. story. Do tell us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was so typical of, you know, the way Baba keeps popping up his sense of humor in our lives. Mm. Um, I was in my little flat in London, just coming out of the front door. I never have personal mail that I ask to be sent to London. Once in a while a letter comes there, but it's rare. Um, and as I was coming out to go to Craig's car, uh, the mailman walked up the walk. Mm. It was about three quarters of an hour early. Mm. I've never seen him so mm. early. Mm. He had one letter in his hand. He handed it to me. It was Don Stevens, Government of India Official Service. <laughs> I was going to the airport to come here. Uh. I, about a year and a half ago, I bought a, a rug in Delhi. It complained that they switched it to another rug. And when I got no satisfaction, I put it in the hands of the High Commissioner of India office in London. Mm. Everything disappeared for nine months. So as I leave to go to India, here comes the letter from India government. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what happened now? You're going to rectify? Going to get, get the exchange or anything? Like that? No. Uh, they say, well, we're willing to give you back all the money you paid for it. But meanwhile, I paid uh, a lot of taxes for it to enter into France, mm. plus air freight, mm. which is at least half of the price of the rug. None of that can be uh, refunded. The taxes on it are not mm. refundable. And so I would lose half of the money of the rug if I did that. So there's nothing to do. So why didn't you ask for that also? Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't offer it. Oh, they didn't offer it? No. The price of the rug, yes. Meanwhile, the price of the rug has gone up almost 100%. So they would but benefit. You, uh, but they want lose. you to return the rug. Oh, they say if I return the rug, they so will then give why me don't the you return the rug? Yeah. But okay. not the same rug. Some some different rug, you see, which is very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the rug that I. Why don't you do that? I hope that was recorded. <laughs> yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. This this is known as. He's inherited this from Baba. You see, he's carrying on the tradition. Real chicanery. No, but they, they duped you, mm -hmm. you yeah. say that, mm -hmm. yeah. so, well, you, you pay them in their own coins. Mm -hmm. and say, this is mm -hmm. the rug that I received, mm -hmm. yeah. here, here is, I, mm -hmm. I'm sending it back. Mm -hmm. yeah. I doubt they would send me a check at that point. Then they would have my old rug and I would have no money and no old rug. <laughs> <laughs> but how do they know that yeah. this, this was the rug not sent by them? Oh, they know the rug very you know, well. Government of India. I mean, no, government of India. No, no, the company said if you send uh, company yeah, they said I the company the has offered of to give all of the money if you send it back to them mm. <laughs> so 
I'll keep the rug. We do cash and carry next time. Right? Next time, no question about it, that will be the method. I've never seen Mondeley Hall with the birthday uh, decorations, Irish. Looks Times change. Mm, yes, they do. <clears throat> you see, when the bridegroom is not at home, they at least make do with a very enlarged picture of the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. And put roses around. And put it. roses around. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is he getting to the right point now? <laughs> yeah. Really? And I would scratch my dog's ears there. Mm. Oh, he would almost faint in ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to faint in look ecstasy? At, look at dog. <laughs> He's comparing you to his dog, you know. <laughs> Do to him and see how he feels. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you just continue with Ari. She merits it much more. Brooke, what about any Baba story from you? Huh? Some Baba story from you. A nice little one. Huh? Huh? Some good story that would warm our heart. Some humorous episode, having Baba in the picture. Come on, you must be having so many stories. Your mummy has so many stories to tell us. What must be the impression if they see me like this now here? Their impression is you're getting a massage. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I say, Arish's muscles are beginning to tighten up. Maybe he's getting arthritis. We better come more often and pump him more. Okay. Then it's all. he gets arthritis in the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Strongest muscle on the body. There's no body. I tell you. A little one, Harish. Yeah, what was that? Yeah. There's one of uh, Francis Baba's um, Everything and the Nothing, in which there is the sentence, I react to all creation every moment. Mm. And he didn't say I react to all creation when I'm in the body or out of the body, he just said it mm -hmm. as a general fact. Yeah. And um, the group who was studying the Everything and the Nothing in London, gee, we spent almost a whole session just on that one sentence and the implications and the importance of it. And one of the things that was, you know, brought out the most was to become, to, to just sort of think, well, maybe it is true. Maybe he really does. Maybe he knows what I'm doing every moment mm. and participates even in the smallest thing in my life. But how to be aware of that and how to start, uh, 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 you know, realizing it could be true and, and profiting by it. So. That was, that was the message, you see, that everybody went home and scratched his head about. And the, two weeks later, I was coming up on the plane uh, from Marseille to, to Paris. Uh, I was on the bus going from Orly Airport uh, to Montparnasse Station. I had my big bag that I was going to come on to Indy with, and a smaller bag. And I was going to get off and take either the um, metro or the subway, or else a taxi. And, uh, as I was getting ready to get out at Montparnasse, which is not the end of the line, uh, for the bus, and so I had my big bag just in the back of the driver so that I could get out quickly, mm -hmm. uh, I started to move the small bag in my seat, and mm -hmm. as I did so, a paper clip fell on the floor. And I'm, I'm a very tidy person, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd better push that paper clip back under the seat so it doesn't Somebody look messy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And somebody you know, was, get it yeah, stuck. So I was starting to push it, and then I suddenly remembered uh, this uh, thing. I react to all of creation every second. And I said, "Well, maybe this is something Baba wants me to notice for some reason." So, contrary to my normal actions, I reached down, picked it up, mm. put it in my coat pocket, mm. forgot it. Mm. Went over, took the big bag, got down. Just as I got down and the man went off in the bus, the handle 
came off on one side. So here I am with a big bag. <laughs> the handle doesn't yeah. work. So big I can't put it under my arm. So big I can't walk several hundred yards to a taxi stand or several hundred <laughs> yards to the metro. Yeah. What God, what did I do with this? Full taxis went by. I waited 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I thought, I remember the paper clip. Mm. Now, how does Baba want me to use this paper clip? And then suddenly I, I, I look down. There's a little tiny hole drilled through one side, and the other side the rivet had fallen out. Mm. But I took the paper clip, unbent it, doubled it, put it through the little tiny hole, and it was just strong enough to, to hold the bag so I could go to the taxi stand. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For you, hello. <coughs> I've had an airline ticket since 24th of August <laughs> for India, but there's been delays with the time. 24th of August? Mm. There's been delays, so it looked as things were getting finalised in uh, January. But Besides the, the department that I work for, there's the Public Service Board, and that's the really official mm. one. So at one stage, the Public Service uh, the Department had me retired, finished, and no pay or anything. But the Public Service Board didn't. <laughs> they still had me yeah, working. working. <laughs> so, mm. Anyway, I finally had to have a letter, that, you know, official permission. And uh, it wasn't until... Uh, until I got this, I couldn't leave. Now, Reg and Roy were coming, and they booked to come on the 12th. And it looked very doubtful. There was just a possibility that I could get this letter, but very unlikely. So I booked for the 19th of February. So Reg stayed at my place the day before, but I looked in the letterbox that day, and uh, it's the Monday, and then the Tuesday. Looked in the letterbox again, no letter. So, but I'd pack just in case. I wasn't going to ask Barbara, you know, to help because you know he knows best anyway. So, anyway, the aircraft got delayed three hours, and about three and a half hours before it was due to go, the department rang me up, and the man that was sending me the letter apologised for it being late. He said he gave me all the information that I needed that <laughs> was in the letter. He said he had it in his hand and he was just posting it to me. <laughs> so I didn't need it. <laughs> so I was able to come with Reg and uh, Roy. So that was a week earlier. Free of anxiety. Yes, that's right. Oh, one thing, Irish, uh, before things um, get too crowded. Um, do, do you have the patience to go back uh, to about, what it have been, 1965, 64, uh, when, you know, several of the people from Boston and Harvard were coming, and that was the time of Timothy Leary and LSD <coughs> and all of that, you know. And, yeah. uh, several times when I came, Baba had you bring me up to date about uh, these fellows and his correspondence. And, um, I think you might, might want to, to hear this particular part. Um, um, and I, on one occasion, as a matter of fact, I remember, I would be back, I went back to California on temporary assignment. And uh, that was about the time when some of the young people who had been involved in drugs started becoming very much interested in seeing who the Sufis were, who the first four hippies and so on. And I remember once when I came to visit here, I said sort of jokingly to, to Baba, Baba, I think I'll have to take a trip uh, one time, I mean an LSD trip you know, <laughs> one time, just to know what they're talking about. Mm. And do you remember how angry Baba got with me? He said, Doc, don't ever think of that, don't even try one. And he said, you cannot imagine some people, um, um, some people are uh, so constituted that they can take a number of trips. And, are not permanently uh, harmed by it. And another person, he takes just one trip and uh, there's nerve damage done, which can never be mm. repaired mm. in that lifetime. 
And then he began to uh, describe the uh, function uh, that LSD had on the central nervous system. And he was trying to get some idea, and you were trying to read his gestures. And then finally, I said, well, Bob, are you trying to say that it's something like trying to open a, uh, a very delicate uh, a door with a crowbar. And at first he smiled and then he said, no, not even that is right. And then he left the subject. Then when I got back to San Francisco, Baba sent out uh, word to Marcia de Deuce that he wanted the material that he had written up in various different letters. Some of it, copies had been sent to me, some copies to her. He wanted it all gotten together and somebody put it together in a logical sequence and print it up so it would be available, what Bob had said, not just on LSD, but on drugs in general. Mm -hmm. So, at any rate, um, Mrs. Deuce gave me her file, I put it together with my file, and put the material in sequence, and put a few little transition paragraphs in. The part which was direct from Bob, I put in quotations, and the part that I put in, you know, to make it hang together, uh, transition paragraphs. I didn't put in quotes so it could be easily seen what was mm. Bob and who, what was the editor. And then at the end of it... You uh, mean, uh, excuse uh, me? God in a Pill. God in a Pill, yeah. yeah that was God mm. in a Pill. Mm. And when I got to the end of what Bob had written out and said to people, and I put in a little bit of material, you know, that I had witnessed here on one occasion, Steve Simon came puttering in on mm. the back of... You remember him? Yes. Yeah. Uh, on the back of a motorcycle, and so I described a little bit of that from it too. But then I got to the end and thought, well, what one really needs to do, this is all, don't do this, don't do this, for heaven's sake, uh, don't think this is spirituality. And then I thought, well, it'd be nice to put at the end of this a brief compilation of the things that Baba says reality is and that one should do to help reality. So that part was taken from the discourse as God speaks and listen to humanity. Then it was printed up. And when it was already printed up, I think we did 3,000 copies of it and a lot were sent out to different places. Um, somebody, I don't know whether it was Marcia Deduce or whether it was Eleanor Smith or whether it was Lud Dimple, somebody said, Don, here where you list the drugs uh, that one ought not to tamper with, you don't put in hash or pot. And I said, well, uh, this is aimed primarily at LSD and mind expanders. And I've just always assumed that what people say, uh, that uh, uh, doing hash or pot is no worse than a couple of martinis is probably correct, so I, I left it out. You know, <laughs> I'd always heard this and I thought it was God's gospel. Mm -hmm. So I left it out. And at any rate, they said, well, don't you think we ought to check Baba? And I thought, well, yes, we certainly should check and see whether Baba did or not. Promptly back came the reply from Bob, yes, it definitely should be included. It should be included with all the rest of the drugs in full uh, strength that Bob doesn't want people mm. to do mm. and tamper with and so on. So uh, at any rate, then that was included in, in later editions. But every once in a while nowadays, uh, the question comes up, you know, how, how prevalent uh, pot <coughs> uh, are, uh, and especially in America. So every once in a while the subject comes up of, uh, well, the, th the thrust of God in the pill is that LSD uh, is pretty well established how dangerous it is. Uh, it's obvious uh, from the general discussion here um, that um, pot uh, does not receive from Brava the same big heavy blow, um, so they must be all right, or at least relatively all right. And I've always said, uh, no. Um, I've always been surprised. I was never interested in the subject. In fact, I always sort of resented the fact Baba took the time to drag me into the subject since I had no interest in it. Um, but certainly, always, when the subject was introduced, it was just as if uh, in this one subject, in this one subject, just as if Baba said, no, bang, mm -hmm. close down the door. Don't do it. Don't tamper. Don't meddle. Don't experiment. So, uh, since it's come up in recent time, uh, I thought it was wise to, to check, well, necessary, to check your memory, your impressions uh, of what Baba's feeling was on the whole subject, most especially uh, on pot hash. What, what, what's your general background and feelings and sense of what Baba said? No. No. No, just don't. Yeah, mm -hmm. just as he says about LSD and other mm -hmm. derivatives of opium. Mm -hmm. So also on this hashish and marijuana, mm -hmm. no. 
He, he said no, that. period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other subjects that he said this about her? Hmm? That Baba would say no? On any other subject? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, extramarital relationship? No. With the same force? With the same force, yes. Mm. Those two? Yeah. Drugs and this. No. Do you remember the... Oh, you're about to say something. Go uh, ahead. Nothing. No? no, I'm just recalling mm -hmm. certain no. incidents. That's mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. no. You're, do you remember the correspondent uh, at that time? Was it you? It might have been Monty or who wrote the letter. I was just wondering if there was a copy I, in existence here. Because I, I, I gave How all long are you going to stay here? Hmm? How long are you staying here? Uh, till Wednesday afternoon. Today is what day? Oh, Wednesday afternoon. Mm. Saturday afternoon. Mm. I don't have the file anymore. I gave all the papers at that point, and the drafts of God and Phil and so on to the Sufis. So whatever there is, is in their central file that I had. I was just, you know, I'd like to refresh my memory of exactly what he said in the letter at that point. But my recollection I don't was know whether we have a copy of it or not. Mm -hmm. We have got a file mm -hmm. called LSD file. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of various people corresponding to Baba on the subject. Mm -hmm. Mm. But then it will take a long time. Yeah. So if if you have time, mm -hmm. you would like to have it and go through it? Mm -hmm. if, if the file itself is readily available, sure, I'd be happy to take the time and search through and see if that particular letter, if the copy is in, is in it. Okay. But I think you've said the important thing. That that Baba included just a flat no on yeah. hash also. Yeah. He used to do that. He tells mm -hmm. so often he would say to people who had asked him about mm -hmm. it. No, he says. Whereas he didn't object to tobacco smoking, plain tobacco, mm -hmm. in any form, the hookah or cigars or cigarettes or mm -hmm. even tobacco chewing, he didn't object to that. Mm -hmm. he didn't. On the contrary, he, he would, as I told you about my leaving the cigarettes and all that, he would encourage us, why don't you go and have a puff? Mm -hmm. y your, your attention is not here. Go and have a couple of puffs and come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wouldn't mind that. If you'll excuse yeah. me, I'm going to do just that. Oh. <laughs> You're excused. I'll be back. So, likewise to drinking. Drinks, hard, hard liquor. He didn't object, but no. within limits. Within yeah. limits, even ordinary smoking should yeah. be there within limits. But for hushes, there's nothing. No. It's an age-old no. thing, you know, but he said no. No, no limits, yeah. period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember once when he was trying to fix the upper limit on what a particular person should drink, you know, yeah. close, close ones to yeah. him. Yeah. He was saying, should it be two pegs? Should it be four pegs? And how much period of time should that yeah. person drink yeah. that amount? All at once or spread through the day or how? Yeah. So what did he say? Well, he finally came to the conclusion that uh, it probably should be, let's say, two pegs at a point and then some other time, the other two pegs. But not the whole day's allowance all at one time. He mm. seemed to feel maybe that was a little bit too much at mm. one point. Mm. But I thought that was quite an amazingly liberal allowance. Maybe depending upon the thirst of the yeah. person who had asked. Mm. Yeah. How many fingers? <laughs> yeah, he would do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the Indian peg. Yeah. I, I, I think that that is like the English uh, Jill, isn't it? I'm not sure. You know, people in India always talk about a peg, and I assumed it was the English measure, which was still held there. Mm. We take call a it a jigger less. in America, but take. it's larger. Uh -huh. okay. Baba would always say that yeah. take a little less. less. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, and it, the person would take less. It yes. would please yes. Baba, yes. I remember yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.